Hello Year 9 and welcome to your next assembly. Firstly, I want to start off by congratulating you all on how successful the end of year summaries were last week. Before we started, I mentioned to you all about how great you are in APs when we are in school. And it has been really evident through both the number of assessments that were completed on time and by the answers and the details you gave, just how great you are as a year group when it comes to assessments. This is a fantastic skill that you will all need going forward for the next two years and in preparation for your GCSEs. So if you feel by being able to do this from home just shows how great you are when it comes to managing those assessments. Following on from that, I want to talk to you about something that fits in with assessments and why we chose to go ahead with them, even though you are at home. You may remember from one of the bulletins I shared back in around March or April time, I shared a link to an interview with Lewis Hamilton, the six time and current Formula One world champion. As you know, I love sport and F Formula One is something that my family has always been interested in. So much so that we have gone to countries such as Australia, Singapore and Monaco to watch Formula One races. In this video, in this interview that Lewis does, he talks about how lockdown gave him the opportunity to make improvements in a very different way than normal, remaining positive, keeping healthy and using lockdown as a way to improve. He mentions about how he's been given more time to look at things, to analyse himself, to look where he can improve his performance and think about what he can do differently now that the sport is returning. I will share the link with you again in next week's bulletin so you can watch the interview. But I wanted to make the point that this is exactly what you have done. By continuing to do your work, by continuing to do those assessments and not giving up, you have been able to adapt and you have been able to improve. You have continued your learning and you have put yourself in a much better position ready for next year. As I'm sure you know, including myself and the staff across the school, we have been working hard to improve everything. That is the school, the facilities, the lessons, the curriculum and anything else you can think of that will make that will help you make the most amount of progress as possible. This means there is this means you will need to continue to commit to your learning. We will do everything we can. The most important part now is that you as your pupils at this school you continue to do that from now and until we see you again in September ready for those GCSEs. But between now and then, there are lots of things taking place over the next couple of weeks. There's Pillar Day, there's Sports Day, and we will even have a celebration assembly where you will be hearing shout outs and positive stories about how the year group have handled lockdown and year nine. Your tutors have been in contact with many of you already and have informed you about the opportunity to come in on the 15th or 16th of July so that we have one last chance to see you before the end of year nine. This is a fantastic opportunity for you all. We would just love to see you all, to see how you're getting on, to give you some information on some things coming up for next year and how you can be best prepared for September. By the time you come in on those 15th or 16th of July, it would have been around four to five months since we last saw you. So we would just love to see all of you in those sessions, just to catch up, to see how things are and put yourself in a great position ready for the summer and year 10 in September. For now, keep in contact if you have any questions or if there's anything that you're not sure about, please email myself or your tutors, but take care and hopefully I will see you all on the 15th or 16th of July. Thank you.